When it comes to Web3, I think the main advantage is it's decentralized web. So not one person is controlling the NFT. So like for example, once you buy it, once you mint it, it's yours forever, like unless you sell it, unless you transfer it. So I think we should never forget about that important side of NFT as well. Um, and yeah, to answer your question, um, we've, been, we've been going through like at least four to five different cycles of up and down, price going up and down. And it's like at this point, whenever someone's like, oh my gosh, Ethereum's crashing, are you guys okay? I'm like, we, we've been through this like five times. It's fine, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's time, right now is the time to focus on actually building things. And I'm 100% sure like people, even like NFT space or like a blockchain space in general, this, is, this will be the perfect time to filter out all the weeds and then work on real products, real products that matter and then real products that can carry on uh, five years from now instead of like just dying off like in six months from now.